Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 1v1 today. We are on Crossroads. We today spawning in the north. We have Simon K. Exhaust here who has Blitzkrieg, Jaeger Infantry and Mechanized Assault. On the south we have Halo playing as Soviets. Straight away going for Guard Rifle Combined Arms. In terms of rankings, uh, Simon K. Uh, around rank 130, hello, around rank 100. So aggressive play here from Simon to start things off, getting onto the other side of the map. You don't often see Oz there, especially pushing across to this side, but it's getting some work done. Going to be quite slow connecting all of this, so you can see hello just going to branch off to the other side of the map. Go the uncontested, which is fair enough. Doesn't want to be running into a machine gun, which you know could be setting up on his base exit, really limiting his movements even further. So he's taking the safer option, going out to the left-hand side, which I think is a wise choice. Three green build for Simon. Uh, early medics here from Hello, going for them before. You know, like one extra squad of combat engineers, which would probably be the most common, especially when going for like a guards commander. So he's kind of one squad down at the moment. Could impact his map control. Machine gun is now set up on the exit of the base. But there's nothing over there at the moment. Yeah, the uh, aggression worked out well for Simon, getting everything connected a lot earlier than Hello. Really slowing things down the Soviet early game. Fourth green from Simon now as well. No adaptation of the machine gun though. It should be pretty clear to Simon at this stage that... Okay, here it goes now. The Soviet units are not coming out of base. Like, you didn't force any of them to retreat. Maybe you could catch one of them. It was freshly constructed coming out, I suppose. But so yeah, a little bit slow on the MG42 rotation. It's coming to the center here, but it doesn't have sight yet. There it goes now. So Kello maybe going to try to finish off the sandbags before getting out of there. Be very low, but does have the medics, so might not be too big of an issue. We do have some negative cover down the road, though. I'll drop maybe three models, just two. Okay, pretty pretty good for Hello overall. Still capping up there with the combat engineer. You can see, like you know, with a slow start, you know, quickly getting forced off the right and no combat really until three minutes thirty-ish. Command points, very slow so far this match. Simon getting out, oh looking for the wipe, there was a pretty good volley of shots there from the Grenadiers. But the conscripts do get away alive. That was a close call though. I thought Initially I thought they were very safe but there was like a volley where three shots seemed to land in quick succession. They're trying to come out on the side but the MG, good rotation from Simon and shuts that down. Going for the cut off as well. No, deciding to go for another conscript at this stage. We can now build light mechanized infantry. I probably would be building a second combat engineer at this stage. You know, he doesn't have any tech down at this moment, so kind of needs to build tier two, tier three. Went for the flamethrower as well, so he could maybe do with a minesweeper. So this is a very late time to be building a conscript. Yeah, good cutoff play here from Simon. But he himself is uh, a little bit slow getting the tech down. Here it goes. If you could have followed this up with a super fast 2 2 you could basically completely box Hello out. But it's going to be coming in uh, quite a lot later, maybe around the 7 minute mark. That stage it might even be worth uh, not going for. We are losing a sector. 
If you're up against the guards as well. Bunker has been converted to an emergency medical station. We'll oh, see what he gets up to. Gotta build it still. A lot of healing required, so he's taking quite a lot of time off the map at the moment. I think I'm just trying to set at least one of these Grenadier's forts, probably this one. One of them healed up now. Hello, trying to uh, squeeze in. Stealing back a lot of territory on this side of the map. These units back here. Maybe waiting a little bit too long with the healing. A little bit slow for Simon coming out, especially this squad. I think it was healed first, right? So it hasn't moved out yet. Here we go, making a bit of a push. He's got the sweeper. I don't think we've seen any mines from Hello yet flanking around but we've got the double green ideas there oh, but we've got a second squad of conscripts from the other side that MG needs to get out in these cases you kind of need to keep one of the squads shooting at the uh, conscripts to keep them pinned so they come out of pin start firing back staying out of the open like this not good for Simon either very slow moving into cover conscripts do have the anti-tank grenades Squad gonna make a dash. Do have the uh, pyro there for the repairs. So it might not impact things too much. A bit of bleed from the 222. Do have the guards coming out now though. The enemy has taken our supply sector. An anti tank gun coming in for Simon. This is understandable. I mean. Could be possible the Hello would be building like a quad at this stage quite easily. Maybe even a T70, honestly. But we can see he still hasn't got tier 3 up yet. Second machine gun, second pyro, pretty safe option. And it just shows a little manpower bleed Simon has had so far. KD, very, very good for him at the moment. Still be at risk with this 2v2. It did force away the guards, but you never know where there's going to be like an Ura anti tank grenade coming around the corner. MG suppression kicks in. Another conscript trying to get around the corner here, though. Oh, and the 2v2 kind of getting a bit, little bit close there. Maybe that conscript just about would have been in AT grenade range. Pinned, though, kicking in on both of these squads, and again, a huge amount of bleed without many returns for Hello. Needs to be like flanking around, doing some deep flanks instead of just running head on to these machine guns. Oh, only one PTRS fired there. I think if the second one had connected, that would have been the end of the 222. Lucky break for Simon. And the LMG Grandy is working nicely against the conscripts inside the building. Cut off as well. Hello, so things are not going well for Hello at all currently. Getting tier 3 up now. I think probably has to go for a T70 at this stage, but let's see how things shake out. Without the T70 though, I feel like he's really going to struggle against the machine guns. Doesn't have a heavy mortar in this commander, unlike guard motors, so don't have that easy option to deal with the MGs. does go for the T-70, it's going to be a late one. We got it about 30 fuel we got. Okay, grenade force raid, one of the machine guns. Here goes the other one now as well. He's doing some repairing and capping at the same time. Tutu has been out of action for quite a long time now though. going to be the T-70. It's got the manpower for it now. Not building it though. We've we seen quite a lot of Soviet players skipping tier 3 these days. Okay, he's going for it. A little bit late building it as well. 
missing the timing on that by about 100 manpower. Just, you know, just a half a minute. But yeah, a lot of Soviet players have been skipping tier 3 these days. Generally, you have to uh, go for like airborne troops, I'd say, for that kind of strat or something that gives you a good ability to make game power spike commander, maybe like one with a dishka. So you can have a str slightly stronger early game. The transition to those medium tanks easier. In this case, it would be a bit of a stretch. But in those cases, you generally want to go for a lot of uh, a lot of infantry and delay your tier three tick more. Also, to bolster up your uh, early mid game. Okay, uh, Simon did cancel the pack. Now uh, restarting production on it. You see when he has some time to work here before any damage from the anti-tank gun? Oh, get an anti-tank grenade there. We'll slow down the 2 2 a fair amount. No Grenadier Faust range bulletin for Simon. No pack full time bulletin either, so... Bulletin game lacking a bit. Those are just like the default bulletins, right? Don't make a huge difference, but you know, you do notice it, especially that Faust range bulletin on the Grenadiers. The Pack Pork Time Bulletin, one of my favourites as well. Noticeable impact, especially if you want to delay your pack construction like he has here. Okay. Good maintenance of the range there from Hello, staying out of Faust range. If uh, yeah, infantry is locked in, maybe that could have been like a sprint into Faust. But still hasn't stick to his commander, and there we go. Pack missing. Don't think Hello noticed though. A little bit slow backing away. That's where finally now. Take one shot though, so. Repair that up before returning to action. So with quite a lot of manpower at this stage as well. Probably do with his own anti-tank gun. Two 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 is not like a, a real menace, but being able to resist barrage the way the machine guns. Oh boy, conscript down. A little bit sloppy there for Hello. Too focused on the attack groundwork over here. And connecting. T70 diving in, but the second thoughts now after taking that shot. Second shot missing. Now for Simon, there is that Stugrick there, kind of blocking the shots. So T70 pretty safe there for the moment. To take grenade right onto the 222. One side of the building getting very low, only one window. Enough infantry here to keep the packs back, but they do get in range maybe for one shot. Pies go down on retreat. Okay, good pick off there for Hallow. He needed that. Hiding behind the building with the uh, T70. Pretty good at evading the packs so far. The drive by here. Pack missing, connecting with the sandbag. And cross to the machine gun. It is using one of their med kits, which is nice to see from Simon. And he gets forced away. Guards still relatively healthy. Maybe merge into them as well. Bit of bad luck there with the uh, into tank guns, bringing the uh, strafe on them. Someone gets out of there before too much damage comes through. T70 
Okay, so we need limping back to the combat engineers. They are vet too, so repairs will be rather swift. I didn't even notice that. It's actually a fresh squad of guards as well, a second squad. Okay, Battle Phase 3 tech coming in for Simon. There is a mountain of grenadiers in the middle. We try and jump out of the building. Looks like the Molotov maybe not quite getting contact of the model inside. Ooh, man, those conscripts. They got mounted. The triple V3 LMG grenadiers turned on them. There's a little bit of negative cover there as well, so they went down ultra fast. Be careful, man. Once those grenadiers get the, that VET2 accuracy bonus, they are just so strong. Our renovated HQ is ready, and heavy tanks are now available. Tier 4 tech coming up for Haller at the back. Simon rebuilding the pyos. Might cause himself a bit of a manpower bottleneck at the moment, though. Seem you're gonna need to get out of there. Five kills. Halfway to uh, Vet 3 though. So it has been uh, doing a lot of damage. Hello, still actually in the lead in terms of VPs in spite of suffering so badly at the moment. Look at that KD. Ooh, I know it's Soviets, but that is a really, really bad KD for Hello. Two squad lights versus one as well, so struggling. But yeah, I was saying like this needed for Hello. You know he's got guards and he can you know force off the two to two without too many issues. But if you do it with uh, this, you don't have to you know, potentially take manpower bleed from the two to two. And this barrage is so powerful. Hello, managing to connect double fuels for a moment. And uh, has enough resources just about to build a KV-1, which is, uh, there it goes. KV-1 fallen massively out of favor since it's got its uh, rework. Instead of having that received damage boost, it's uh, straight health now, so... I think it's a thousand health? Maybe it's a thousand forty. Quite durable. But yeah, uh, long repair times. And for such a slow tank, it does end up taking quite a lot of damage very often. That's why KV1's really fallen off in terms of popularity. As well with this commander, like this was the most popular KV1 commander, and the uh, loiter getting switched to a strafe as well, really hurting the popularity and strength of this commander. So yeah, two major factors causing this K1 to fall off. Obviously, just mono guard motor just about these days. T345, you know, lower health, lower armor than the KV1, but faster, so you know, can get out of harm's way more quickly. Especially if the uh, KV-1 takes engine damage and can have a hard time getting away from anti-tank guns that chase it down. The enemy has broken our supply but yeah, KV-1 does dual pretty well hit to hit, especially against the Aussie Panzer IV, so... Not going to be a factor this game with... Uh, Simon, I think going straight for the tiger here, perhaps. He does have a mechanized assault. Pretty close to the resources for a tiger. Could build anything else from tier 4, including the panther, so it has to be a tiger stall, right? Sandbags, <laughs> kind of hurting Hello here, instead of helping him. 
soaking up a lot of damage from these two tanks. All risky stuff from Simon, but it looks like it's going to pay off. My engineer does get in flamethrower range, might be able to get a second burst off. Oh, he's going to call in the planes. On the right hand side, whoa, monster damage. MG in the building goes down and a Grenadier squad. That was weird. I don't think I've ever seen that strafe do so much damage. I wonder if being like stuck up against the building changed it there. That was that was crazy. So I'm building a Panther now, so I'm not going for the Tiger still. It's tough because, you know, I think the Tiger is very good against Soviet troops in general. You know, the conscripts, the guards, the extra AOE from its gun. Very handy against Soviets. But at the same time, the SU-85 is so good at countering the Tiger. It makes it quite difficult. This commander, at least I suppose there's no uh, marked vehicle which can make the Tiger more vulnerable, which is quite nice. Oh, yes, tough. Ready. I suppose if you want to go for the Tiger against Soviets, your best bet might be uh, Spearhead. Since you get the Panzer Tactician to break from the, the uh, guard's button. Frag bomb's pretty good against the Soviet team weapons as well. And we've seen your own the Mortar Half Track have quite a lot of success lately as well in uh, tournament play, so. Spearhead, probably the way to go. Okay, Houts are coming up for Hello, nice to see. Still needs a zest though. <laughs> there goes 2 2 2, diving in too close, taking the engine crit. Panther camp out in the center. T70 on recon mode. Big push from Simon. It's lost a bit of pushing power though, having to uh, rebuild the machine gun. One green deer down now. And this is kind of the uh, KV-1's worst nightmare. There we go, hit to head with the Panther. So the Panther going to go for the more vulnerable target, the T-70. The blocking from the KV-1 though, rear armor of the Panther exposed. Here come the packs though. Engine crit on the KV-1. Second pack not quite facing the right direction. KV-1 in some big trouble. The yeah, buildings here absorbing a lot of the damage. Button on the Panther that's getting cold feet. A bounce from the pack. KV-1 still alive. Combat engineer is going down over here though. Do you have a machine gun on the rear of the... Uh, TV one there as well. Don't see that firing too often. Enemy forces are securing our territory. We complain up from Simon. Opportunity is there for him to kill this. The recon plane in the air. He could have seen that there was no uh, anti-tank gun for Hello. Should have got in there with a the Panther to finish the job. Trying to get the job done with the uh, double packs with the KV-1 round in the corner. Is it going to be a panther dive here perhaps? Here come the conscripts though with the anti-tank grenades. Is the panther going to chase through? I feel like the panther can crush through this. Maybe I'm wrong though. Smoke out. KV-1. There's one more shot to go down. There it goes. Try back away. Could lose the Panther here. A lot of guards here with the PTRS. The button running. He already popped the smoke. Maybe preemptively. Looks like only one button got used. So he didn't use the smoke early to break free of a button. And that may be what ends up costing him the Panther. See, Hello doesn't have enough munitions for a second button. So. There we go, Panther goes down. 
Yeah, pretty pretty bad handling of that engagement for Simon. If he just stayed in with the Panther right at the start, I think that would have gone a lot better for him. But he kind of backed away, drove all the way around here with the Panther, then came back in. By that time, the KV-1 was already in base with a lot of uh, PTRS support. Still, good amount of territory control on the back of that. T-70 trying to get away from the double packs. Pretty fast of V3. Looks like it's going to be successful. Now it's uh, zero kills. Oh, got off to a bad start against the machine gun. Crew the machine gun, perhaps. We I mean, know the pack, not. Very important thing about how it's the usage is expecting where you're going to need to barrage and, and your house pointing that direction before you need to barrage because reactively it's going to be very, very slow. Oh, and the combat engine has been down the center for Hello as well. He's had a couple just sloppy wipes like that. Getting to retreat on the uh, other side of the map. Even a couple of times. We need to That's the switching lines. angles now. Push the machine gun on this side. Always better if you can have sight. Tighten up the scatter. So sometimes it can be better if you're like running a squad out. It ends up getting suppressed by the team weapon. Tons up the scatter of those first couple shells before they manage to retreat. In this case you want to stop barraging right now with your howitzer because as soon as you stop barraging, it puts the howitzer into cooldown. So it'll be able to fire again earlier. You're just like letting a rip like this, firing at nothing, gonna hit nothing. You know, you're just delaying your uh, cooldown by another 20, 30 seconds. Okay, Brombeer next from Simon. Understandable. He doesn't really have any vehicular resistance from Halo at the moment, so... Brombeer could be pretty strong. Looks like Simon going for a rebuild on the Grandier as well. Really likes the this composition, the tournament style. Four greens, two machine guns, two anti-tank guns. I think I would be prioritizing a second tank over rebuilding the Grand Air, but it's uh, all right. T-34 from Halo now, interesting. I think I'd still probably be rebuilding the uh, KV-1, or good, good time to sweep the Teller. You could just attack around it, mate. The T-70. Maybe he doesn't want to take it off recon mode. Got playing up for Simon. The Brumbeer here and uh, good cancel timing there from Hello. From the T-34. The S-85 now. Oh boy, this could be nasty. Two guards. Drop one model each. That was a lucky break. on retreat now as well, unsuccessful. Howie we switching angles. And we're coming in. The enemy has cut off a sector. Okay, here we go. Close range howitzer action. Double packs could be in some trouble here. Yeah, there goes one of them. The other one taking a little bit of damage as well. Anti tank grenade onto the Brumbia. Where's the SU-85? Here it comes. Okay, I'm right destroyed there. SU-85 closing in. I think it still needs two more hits. Could be tough for the uh, SU-85 to get another one through here. No attack ground work from the pack yet on Simon. There it goes now, missing. 
bounce though. Unfortunate. Oh my god, the grand is. Wow, there we go. Close range. The howitzer is very, very powerful. So I'm talking about luck, but <laughs> he got lucky. He's 35 bouncing on the Brumbia, the killing blow. He just ran into where the howitzer was barraging that entire time. I think that was like the second to last shell of the howitzer that killed that green squad. At this range, the scatter is super tight. So yeah, there's that's not really luck at all. It was like the first shell of the howitzer. Okay, maybe you know there's a bit of luck there, but running into the <laughs> into the barrage zone. Yeah, that's not good. <clears throat> the good thing about excuse me, I had to clear my throat there. Uh, the good thing about the howitzer as well is that it does 160 or 200 damage per hit. 200 in the case of the ML20. So. You know, Green Deers have their received damage bonus at VET 3, which often shields them from uh, being wiped by rocket artillery strikes, but Howitzers have enough damage per hit that they can still just get the wipe. Slightly late retreat on that green squad. Could have got wiped if the guards maybe ran. Maybe the T-70 can still get the job done though. Oh, it's just starting up again. Looks like it's maybe clearing off this machine gun. And this is again where you should stop the barrage. Oh, the Green Deers did go down. T-70 chased them all the way to base. Now Hella going for a T-34. Simon, I think you're feeling the impacts of not going for a second vehicle at this stage. Going for the reboot on the Grandies instead. His pack positioning so far has been a little bit lackluster overall the entire match. And without the Panther, the Brumbier out for repairs. Struggled for territory control now. T70 really putting the boots to him. the uh, off map not the uh, airborne guards ability because it's uh, regular guards didn't even notice this but a fuel cache out to the side for something we can see doesn't really need the fuel but with the panther should make things a lot more smooth for Simon Don't have to worry about that SU-85. The enemy is taking what we have secured. Okay, Brumbeer coming out to the side. Contracts are behind heavy cover, but they're quite low in health. Cover soaking up most of the damage. He's, yeah. <laughs> so he's briefly thinking about trying to get the decap, but no. With the Brumbeer there, conscript on that low amount of health. Made the right call. Oh, T-34. Take an engine crit, maybe could even take one further pack shot. It does. Hanging on by a thread, the Brumbeer, if it was fast enough, could have got over here. Go for a, a shot, maybe even a bunker busting barrage shot. To finish off the T 34. No, nope, the Panther's going to be able to get the job done. Randy is going down on retreat, though. T 35 getting to work. Looks like the pack doesn't quite have sight around the side of the trees. Needs to do some attack groundwork. It's the SU here. SU coming too far forward, so this is a little bit risky. Shooting at the uh, Brumbeer, I think, there, maybe. Next setting up. Panther's there as well, but the Panther could easily just come through, do some attack groundwork itself. Here comes the Brumbeer. Rifle maze. Oh, Brumbeer. Oof. Big shot on the guards. Two of the guards hanging on by a thread. 
We'll be getting out of there. Yeah, with some bit of attack round micro there, Simon, I think, who could have completely overwhelmed Hello. Missing that T-34, he just didn't have enough to defend himself with there. Maybe, you know, if Simon didn't have a commander with Paz Tactician, could do some guard button work. Could have defended himself, but yeah, Simon had the counter to that as well, so... Missed opportunity there for Simon. Could have been the GG push. Instead, he's, uh... A massive backward step. It's a model or two off that green squad, forcing it back. I oh, did fall quite far behind in VPs at one stage, but now down by less than 100 points, so still looking reasonable for him. cover doing their best okay panther repaired up oh whoa mg went down i thought that was going to get away easy okay well good uh, news for hello machine gun's going to help him hold on to territory right cleanly Good green med kit uses for those from Simon, like, it's, you know, it's a good presence of mind to make use of that. Simon still with quite a lot of resources. He's coming in for a bit of a base inspection with the Panther. S-35 is facing this direction already, but doesn't have much support. We've got the recon plane up in the air. Nothing missing. Wouldn't be doing this without a pack support. He pops the smoke early again as well. Which is uh, like, why? The fresh T-34 here for Hello now. Guards popping the button and now he doesn't have the smoke to break free of the button. And the PTRSs could finish the job here if they pin enough. T-34 in hot pursuit misses a shot. If it gets out of there, that was a bit of a lucky break for he uh, Hello, or Simon rather. Plane coming through on the pack, it's dodging away. Looks like the plane came in from the far side, giving more time for Simon to dodge. So it only took a tiny bit of damage. Oh, but the Panther coming back in there briefly. Poor vehicle control from Simon. And he's now floating a huge amount of resources as well. But yeah, it was, it was reckless stuff, especially as you get like higher in the ranks. These are like very common mine locations for Soviets. And I don't think he brought the sweeper up there in the last like five minutes or so. So that could have backfired him horribly for the Panther. It was quite lucky to get away on that one. And bad smoke usage as well. Oh, there goes the SU-85 though, that VET-3 pack. Landing every shot. Good rate of fire on it at that stage of VES as well. You're in the building here for Hello. I wouldn't be doing that against the Brumbia. That building's like one shot range for the Brumbia. Very risky. Especially, you know, it's, it's a vetted Brumbia, so it could be a, like a long range shot from the bunker busting barrage as well. So yeah, I don't, I don't like that machine gun positioning. So I'm going to uh, rebuild another green here. Pack under pressure. T-34 coming through. There goes the pack. Decrude. Risky using it on that low amount of health in the first place. He pays the price for it. That was VET 3 as well. It's a big loss. Talking about luck again. I'm not sure. Is it? Yeah. He should have used a green mid kit on uh, the pack. Maybe it would have survived there. The territory is in our hands. <laughs> talk about luck. You want to talk about that green deer escaping right now? 
Okay, Simon finally spending his resources. Going to go for a second panther, and with that he should have the tools to overwhelm Hallow. Just whether he can get the execution right. Oh boy, he used a tactical movement. I didn't even notice that. When did, what did he use that for? Still has enough munitions for a recon overflight. So, you know, the recon plane up in the air with the double panthers making a move. Could overwhelm. Hello, you know, he just has to knock out the T-34 in pressure the pack with his broom bear should be pretty easy but so far I don't think we've seen him use the bunker busting barrage even once so it's like a really important tool for the broom bear he's really missing out if uh, Simon had you know got the panther out a bit earlier maybe he could have this push happening before the s 5 comes through. Looks like it might happen. T-70 coming across. Panther's pushing in. Now it's uh, onto this side now. Yeah, Hallow's seen the second Panther now, so knows what to expect. Yeah, good time to be planting a bunch of mines. Up against double panthers. Mines for days. Just see me on recon mode. Oh. Here go the greens. <laughs> oh. oh that's, that's the Howie magic right there. Okay, here comes the Double Panthers, but because of the T-70 recon mode, Hello knows this is coming. That strips the air with the engine crew, we've got the guards, we've got the pack, the MG in the building goes down, just like I was talking about. T-34, meanwhile, flanking the Brumbia. T-35 goes down, but we've got the pack there, could spin around, take down one of these Panthers. The Brumbia is getting soloed by this T-34, dodging away now, but a bit of blocking there. Here goes the Brumbia. There goes one of the Panthers as well. Pack did get abandoned though. Here goes the Pyos in the center. T-70 getting away. Panther did hit Vet now. Could pop the Blitz. Maybe trying to bait the Panther over this mine here. Panther switches its focus fire over to the T-34. T-70. Oh, there it goes. Max range shot from the Panther. I think I heard another squad go down over here. I heard enemy eliminated. Not sure what that was. But yeah, Simon maybe wasn't expecting such sturdy resistance there, but that's what the T70 can do with its recon mode. Saw that move coming in. Well, I mean. Honestly, those Panthers were camped there for like a minute before they started to push. So it would have been very easy to see that coming. But yeah, that push. Overall, Simon's vehicle control quite lacking. And definitely uh, seemed like Simon was massively overwhelmed during that push. He's very tunnel vision on the Panthers, forgetting about the Brumbeer, which is easy flanked by the T-34 and knocked out. Lost the pies in the center as well during all that. You know, it happens to all of us, you know, you, you get some tunnel vision, but that was quite a bad case of it. Looks like Simon has managed to push out another Panther, though. He just had such a large float of resources. Well, has managed to recruit the pack, those back at base currently. So he doesn't have nearly as much infantry now to assist. On the Panther as well. Struggling for repairs, just got the one Pyo. It's ready five next for Hello, and that should be able to close the show for him.
75 points remaining. You appear suited for command. Still, I'm yet to see anybody, and myself included, use the creeping smoke barrage on the uh, ML20, you know? Maybe one day. Pretty decent time to just go for a ram on the Panther. Not doesn't even need to. How did this get an engine, Chris? And Simon throws in the towel. So yeah, very strong start here from Simon. Following pretty much like the textbook Os there built. Maybe a little bit late on his two two two, but can happen because he went for the four green starts. But yeah, really fell apart in the late game. Just overall, the vehicle plays clumsy. Hello. Able to exploit that. Hello. Uh, too weak of an early game. You know, going for like one squad down. Just three conscripts, one combat engineer. Really hurt him in the early phases. Here are the uh, first four minutes or so of the game. Very low action. So command points were very slow. So if he's hoping to roll it into like a fast two command point guard squad, kind of have to adjust your uh, adjust your strategies based on what's happened in those first couple minutes. And that set him back a long way. Didn't really recover until, you know, maybe after 20 minutes. But yeah, GG. Uh, well done by Hello. Turn this one around. You know, yeah, I'm always a big fan of the howitzer. And it did some decent work. Largely because Simon bought those double packs up. Killing off that pack was pretty big. Nice wipe on the green ears over here. Like a howie shot. They land on the green ears over here. He starts the retreat and then the Howie shot lands on him over here as well. Wow. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game, you cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.